Namaste. Today we'd like to focus on Sri Aurobindo's book, The Synthesis of Yoga. Most people consider yoga to be a series of physical exercises, and there are lots of yoga classes all over the world where people are taught various poses or maybe additionally to that, some breathing techniques, and it's used for physical health, wellness, and flexibility. Uh, but that is actually not the uh, complete understanding of what yoga is. The term yoga means union, union with the divine, and unifying the physical existence with the divine may include the asanas and the pranayama, but yoga goes far beyond that. Uh, what I appreciated most about Sri Aurobindo's work with the synthesis of yoga is that while in most yogic traditions they talk about a specific set of practices that everybody who enters there must follow, uh, in the case of Sri Aurobindo, he uh, has taken a totally different approach. Everybody is actually encouraged to find the methods that work best for them and the path that works best for them in terms of development of their body, life, mind, and spiritual growth. And he uses the opportunity to describe all of the major paths of yoga and their active principles, how they work, uh, for whom they are suited, or at what time in one's spiritual development they are suited. And it's basically an opportunity for people to uh, gain a deeper understanding about the psychological forces at work in the various forms of yoga. In the synthesis of yoga, he has broken it down into four major sections, the yoga of works, the yoga of knowledge, the yoga of love and devotion, and one that he added based on uh, his sense that it's necessary to transform the actual life in the world, which he calls the yoga of self-perfection. So he goes at great depth through each of these paths while also spending some amount of time on Hatha Yoga and Raja Yoga uh, and some of the other yogic methodologies so that anyone can read this book regardless of what path or uh, persuasion one happens to have and find benefit by understanding the deeper forces at work and how to apply them and how to understand what's happening in each of these paths and why and how it needs to develop. The synthesis of yoga is Sri Aurobindo's major writing on the practice of yoga. And I have to say that uh, I found it to be of great inspiration and benefit. And I highly recommend this book to uh, anyone who has an interest in uh, spiritual development or yogic practice. 